These drawings and calligraphy doodles were drawn by Alfred Atkinson, who was the surveyor and engineer for the commissioners of sewers for the area around Brig and also for the commissioners of the Ancombe Drainage and Navigation Authority. He held these roles for over 50 years from 1870 to 1925. The commissioners and courts of sewers were created by Henry VIII in 1531 and their job was to maintain the drainage of agricultural land that was prone to flooding. The word sewers in this sentence referred to watercourses that were used to drain the land rather than the way we would use it today. These commissioners had the power to force landowners to repair drainage works and to protect the land that was used for farming. These courts of sewers and commissioners were updated by legislation over the years but they were in existence until 1930 when they were replaced by the land drainage boards. Surveying and mapping the land was really important for the drainage management. It meant that the commissioners could easily see who owned and therefore who was responsible for what parts of land. Maps were also really important for planning new drainage schemes and updating old ones. As surveyor and engineer to the commissioners of sewers, Alfred Atkinson had a really important role. These drawings are sketches created in preparation or for practice for maps. They show clearly how map making is the meeting of art and science. In order to draw the maps, Alfred would have had to know and have an understanding of the science and mathematics behind land surveying and how to translate a three-dimensional world into a two-dimensional map. But as we can also see from these sketches and the calligraphy, he was a skilled artist. I've chosen these objects because they represent an exact snippet of the history of drainage and land management of the North Lincolnshire area, which is really important to the history of the county. They're very personal items and have a direct connection to an individual. You can imagine this work desk scattered with these bits of paper. Also, some of them are just on rough scraps of paper on the backs of other notes, so it's even more special that they've survived and we're really lucky to have them in the museum.